Hey YouTube, it's me, Weird Paul, the original vlogger. I'm back today with another interview in my YouTube interview series. This is interview number two with my dad. Hi dad. Hey Paul. So, dad, what have you been doing lately? Hmm? Oh, uh, I've been watching the marathon of 12 Angry Men on MeTube. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's been great. You want me to tell you about it? Sure. Okay, I'll tell you about all the people that are in it. First, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you about the people that are in it. First of all, it's the whole, almost the whole movie takes place in the jury room. And that's why they call it the 12 Angry Men. And it was all men jury, male chauvinist pigs that they were at that time, no women on the jury. Well, anyway, let's go start from the beginning. The f jury foreman was Martin Balsam. And he was a, 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 an assistant high school football coach, which means in those days they were usually gym teachers too, but, you know, they never said that in the movie. Okay. Uh, the, and the first juror was John Fielder. He was a bank teller, and he was the mousiest little guy. And then the next guy was E.G. Marshall. He was a stockbroker, and he was the logical one of the whole thing. And the next guy was Lee Jacob. This guy was a lunatic. And he owned a messenger service. And he said, started with nothing. I got 27 men working for me. My wife came up with the name of Beck and Call. And that was the name. Okay. Then the next juror was, oh, let's see. That would have been Jack Klugman. And they never said what he did. They only did said he lived in the ghetto. That's all I know about him. Next guy was Ed Bins. He was a house painter. And then was our good buddy Jack Warden, one of my favorite actors. He was a salesman. He sold marmalade. And he made 27 grand last year. And, you know, just consider that marmalade, you know. Okay, and then was uh, Henry Fonda. He was the, the one juror that held out for acquittal at the beginning. Oh. And the next guy was Joseph Sweeney. He was old as sin. They didn't say, so he must have been retired. And then there was, uh, oh, let's see, that would have been Ed Begley. That's senior now, not junior. Yeah. And he owned three garages that were going to pot because he was stuck in that courtroom. And the next guy was George Fuskovich. He was a watchmaker from Switzerland. And... The last guy was uh, Robert Weber. He worked in an ad agency, and he came up with this big line for this cereal. It was called The Cereal with the Built-In Bounce. And that was it. Now, this was a great movie. They actually made a remake for cable, and it sucked. So watch the original. Rent it. You'll love it. Okay, so Dad, the end. Mom! Could you get those guys with the white coats back on the phone? I think he needs to go back. She has it on speed dial. Well, I hope you enjoyed my interview with my dad. Come back next time for another great interview in my interview series on YouTube. Till next time, see ya!